everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Potato, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I am back, 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 back again to react to another Amberlynn Reed video. And it has been a second since I reacted to her. I think I missed a post that she did on Saturday. And I also, this post I think came from Monday, <laughs> and so by the time you're actually gonna see this, it's gonna be a Wednesday. And honestly, there's just been more pressing issues in the world for me to talk about <laughs> than Amberlynn Reed. The Saturday video was pretty boring. I mean, if we're gonna be honest, it was, it was pretty dry. Uh, she did show herself ordering Uber Eats at least twice. Uh, one of those, she actually showed the food she got, which was checkers or rallies, whichever one you want to go with. And outside of that, it was a lot of her art, it, wh whatever you might want to call it, you know? That was that. And, you know, I'm kind of glad in hindsight I didn't take the time to react to that video because there wasn't a lot of content there. <laughs> it just, they're just, um, it wasn't. And that's fine. And she's allowed to make that kind of content. And because it was boring, you know, I, I heard that I couldn't transform that into, <laughs> into, into my own content. So I, I just didn't. But then obviously she also did make a community post where she was beefing with Chantal, and I did actually cover that in a larger video that was just focused on Chantal. I'll leave that linked in the little iCards up above. It's like literally two videos ago, so if you go click on my channel and just go two videos back, you should be able to find it. But the too long didn't watch of that whole video was, or of that community post, well, and that video, I guess, to some extent, is that she did successfully drag Chantal, but still looks real goofy because, you know, she said all this stuff about Chantal fat shaming her and her husband fat shaming her. But then it's like, this isn't the first time this has happened, Amberlynn. This isn't the first time that Chantal's done this, and yet you still simp for her and talk about her and try to stay relevant through her. And so I just don't get it. You still look kind of like a fool. You, you still kind of look a little bit like a fool. You know what I'm saying? It's also like the line she draws in the sand is always when it comes to stuff about her. And it's never the other bigotry, right? Because in that same stream that she got mad about Chantal's husband fat shaming her was also the stream where he did like the, the gay gesture towards me, you know? You know what I'm saying? And she didn't have shit to say about that. So <laughs> it's just like, she draws the line when it comes to her. The bigotry about other people, not a problem for Amber Led Reed. But that's that on that. Otherwise, we're gonna go and watch today's video, which is called Factor Food Taste Test Bar, Queen of YouTube, LOL, Bar, Weigh In Days 12 through 14 Bar Vlog. I don't know what all of this is about. I do know that Factor is like a, a meal delivery subscription service. I would say it's pretty similar to Freshly, which is something she did probably two years ago at this point. I think it was 2020 that she was getting the, the Freshly packages. And I do know that it's similar to that because my my friend and moderator on Twitch, Shay206, is actually sponsored by them on her Twitch streams right now. So if you're interested in a coupon code, I'll link you to her channel and you can go check her out if you're trying to try the the factor meals if you'd like. But the queen of YouTube part, who who knows what that means? I'm sure she thinks she's being really funny because she included an LOL in there. <laughs> but but we'll be the judge of that. We'll see if she's got stand-up comic material or not. So anyways, let's get to let's get to, shall we? November 14th. Okay, we're still like a week ish what behind. Trees and dogs have in common. Okay, I talked over her for two seconds. What do trees and dogs have in common? Okay, this is where she thinks she's stand-up comedian of the world. All right, tell me. Bark. <laughs> Stupid. You got me, gal. 
What does the forest and spiders oh, have in common? Wait, we're we're doing all of this. I didn't even hear that question because I'm so annoyed that we're still doing stand up comedian hour. I didn't even know when I said the queen of YouTube, LOL. She must think she's a stand up comic thing. I did not know we were going to start off with knock knock jokes or whatever we're doing. These aren't knock knock jokes, but you know what I'm saying. Let me rewind so I can hear the joke. What does the forest and sweaters have in common? Forest and sweaters. Wolf. <laughs> Wolf. No, that, the first one was funny. That was a stretch. Kind of dumb. Not, I'm not laughing. <laughs> Tell me that ain't funny. You're not funny. You're not funny. What do you do? See, this is why I always have tons of fur on me. I, you guys hate on me for that, but that just means I'm loved and my pets are loved. You know what I'm saying? Bye. Uh, sure. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever hated on you for the, the animal fur on your shirts and clothing and stuff like that, but... You know, I, if if that were the case, if I had dogs that shed like that, I don't. They don't shed like that. Um, but <laughs> if I did, I would invest in a lip roller. It's probably a, a good look for, like, if you're going to get on the YouTubes every day. But also to each their own, you know. that At this point, it's really a fashion accessory for Amber Lynn. I don't remember a time where she didn't have animal hair all over her body. So this is the tripod I usually use to vlog with you guys right now. Okay. Fact. And I lost it one time. And I tried to find it again on Amazon and they didn't have it. This is actually, you wouldn't believe how long I've had this. For over six years. Wow. It hasn't broke, still does me good. Wow. Yep. You know what, on that note though, can we talk about her recent, I mean, I think she's done it before, but lately it just feels like all the time she's going random fact, random fact, random fact, and it's just like some mundane thing that's not a fact at all. It's just like her sharing the most mundane information ever. Yeah, I, can we stop that? <laughs> There's not a lot of things that Amberlynn says or does at this point that are annoying to me. Like I will take a moment situation type of deal situation for as long as I live, but the random fact thing I think might have to go. I think we might have to end that era. So right now, Feline is putting plants, these plants. I actually showed these to you in my last vlog, this one. Oh, did you? Um, in an actual pot because it needs it. Love. Oh, oh, fing finger that soil. Finger that soil, wifey. Get in there. These are awesome because all you have to do is put the water in here. So cool. It's pretty neat. It's so, so neat. You take one of these and you like clip it like that. Yeah. So you pour the water and it just runs in. Like wow. So <laughs> wow. Good. Look how cute. Huh. So this is our little water watering jug water. you know what i'm gonna say this i think plant content probably relatable to more people than a lot of the things she shows on here i just wish she could somehow learn how to showcase things in her life like this in a more interesting way that's all i'm saying because actually you know i think lots of people could be into some like gardening plant content maybe some updates from wifey on like why they have the types of plants they have, how to take care of them. I mean, I could come up with all kinds of things, but like instead we get Amber Lynn so thrilled with this thing that you can clip onto the side of the planter to water your plant. Like, okay, cool, work. Now we are putting a nourishing stick. Okay. she. In there. Amber Lynn doesn't have a clue what this is. <laughs> have a clue what that is or does she's just saying what wifey tells her that they're doing and also I do need to note a lot of people I've seen speculation that wifey hasn't been around and that's been part of the reason that Amberlynn hasn't been in a good mental health space and it's kind of curious because there will be times where like she won't even acknowledge that wifey is around as in like maybe the past week's worth of vlogs that didn't really feel like wifey was around 
And now wifey seems to be front and center. Like she was the one that was on the receiving end of those jokes. And now we're watching her do these plants. So it just releases uh, nourishment to the plants. See, this, is, one of, this is what I'm saying. Amber oh, Lynn ain't so having any so idea. So I want to show you guys something that I recently discovered that I absolutely love. Uh huh. Feline says it looks like a Popeye's biscuit, and I'm not gonna lie, it does. It's a. It's, it looks too wet to be a Popeye's biscuit, if we're being honest. <laughs> it looks far too moist for that. Yeah, KFC biscuit. It's a plant-based Popeye chicken and veggie, so it Work. is vegetarian. And you guys, I recommend this. You know what this is making me think of, though? The other thing from her last video that I didn't react to that I did have thoughts about is at the end she gave this speech. Speech is not the really the word for it. A monologue. I don't know. She talked for quite a bit, for a good chunk of the video at the very end, about how since she stopped keto that there's no more gallstone issues. Like, she was just magically cured of them. And I just still find that so hard to believe because she tried to say she was eating lower carb, higher fat, and she wasn't eating any more high fat while she was doing keto than she was when she's ordering takeout. She literally showed herself eating rallies, which like any kind of fast food is gonna have a lot of fat. Like they cook everything in lots of oil and literally the french fries and mozzarella sticks were probably like deep fried. And so it's just like, <sighs> I'm trying to make, uh, listen, I haven't said this in a while, but I, I gotta stop trying to make sense out of nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're not, Vegetarian, vegan, I'm but um, I'm sure these are good. Alpha. I got this from a store called Kroger's. So if you don't have <laughs> this, Kroger's, this little rare store called Kroger's, girl, we we know most people are have name brand recognition of Kroger as a grocery store, even if regionally they don't have one, because Kroger, what Kroger does, if you didn't know, which I'm sure you do, is that they own a lot of other, like, regional grocery stores, and so you will see Kroger products in stores that aren't necessarily called Kroger. You know what I'm saying? I wanna show you guys. Show me. Like, it literally doesn't look that appetizing. Like, I understand. Like, I, I mean, promise you. it doesn't look any less appetizing than any of the other things we watch you eat on this channel. It's delicious, and if you worry about macros, you know there it is. Let's see, let's see. Okay, 52 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat, 20 grams of fat, 20 grams. Okay, all right. I mean, I don't know if that's good or bad in the land of gallstones. I've never had them, but just something to consider. Alrighty, so day 12, which is November 14th. Uh-huh. So the weigh-in today was 506.6, okay. which I'm shocked at such a large gain overnight because I did not binge. I did overeat, though. But oh, that was another thing that she did try to show an example of the difference between overeating and binging. So she said that she was binging on the rallies food because... If she wasn't binging, she wouldn't have gotten the additional order of mozzarella sticks or the, the soda that came with it. And she also said it's a matter of, like, her mental health space while she's binging. So I know I've asked that in previous videos, um, so I just figured I would share that in case you were wondering the same thing. But that's apparently the difference. I do gain weight rather easily because of lymphedema. Sure. As you guys know, I was recently diagnosed with. Yeah. And I'm chill with us blaming things on fluctuations. I just, like, hope you keep that same energy when it goes down, like, five-tenths of a pound, you know? All right, November you guys, 15th. it is officially that time of year. Is that a space heater? I have my little mini heater on my desk Work. here. Work. We do have a heater, but our windows are not insulated. Uh-huh. Did you guys see the zombie walk by? Um, yeah, our windows are not insulated, and we have a lot of windows. Philippe tried to insulate them. She did really good. Let me tell you, this little fellow right here actually works really well. Oh, stunning. And then also... You what? Always a little blanket. Is that a song? Did you... <laughs> Is that a song I just don't know, or did I really just hear her say drinking Robitussin? Let me go back. Let me make sure I heard that right. Fucking Robitussin. And then well, now I feel like I heard her say fucking Robitussin. 
What is she singing there? <laughs> Can somebody let me know down below? Also, always a little blanket. For sure. Where did we get this blanket from? Society Six. It was over a hundred dollars, but this blanket is massive, and it's so cozy. Is it? What is happening? It does not look massive to me. I don't. I don't know. I'm just watching. Are you gonna help me? Yeah, I'm gonna help you, baby. Oh, help me. Help me, baby. Help. Thank you, baby. Oh, baby. Thank um, you. Oh, it smells like home. Do you guys know what that? You guys know what that means? Like, uh, that like comforting smell. Yeah. Anyways. Hello. <laughs> wait. Wait. Oh, and wait. Oh, uh, there was just so much that happened. I was trying to process what she meant by. It smells like home, because I assume that means something different for everybody, honestly. Like, I have smells for sure that I associate with home. Um, so I was trying to figure out what she meant by that. And then she did that quirky little random uh, weird girl moment, which I, you know what? I did appreciate. I don't hate it. Thanks for including it. And then once I finally pushed pause and I was looking at my screen, I'm like, oh, Oh, we're just, we're here in a bra. We're in the closet in a bra. Is this the closet or is this the bath? This is the closet, not the bathroom. We might not be getting lectured. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm in my bra, but you know what? What? I'll just call it a bikini for the time being. So I'm in my it, well, you can, closet. We don't have to call it a bikini. It's fine. You can call it your bra. I don't understand the distinction. And I'm just putting my socks away. Okay. Because I did a little bit of a laundry moment. But did we? You guys, my way in, my way in. Wait, before she says anything about her way in, did we ever get an update on Mount Torrid? <laughs> Is Mount Torrid still there? Amberlynn, if you're watching, could we get a Mount Torrid update? I would love to see one. I would love to see what progress we did or didn't make on that. Today was 506.4. Okay. So I have the photo here to see. And then... Obviously, here it is in my little notebook. Actually, it's not a notebook. It's just a line piece of paper. It sure so is. It's the end of the night. I haven't really been, like, vlogging, vlogging lately. I don't want to vlog too much because Vlogmas is coming up. And I know that when I vlog a lot, um, especially, like, daily, it kind of burnt out. Uh, okay, sure, 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 sure. You know what, even, even, what I was immediately thinking is like, girl, this is allegedly your passion. YouTube's allegedly your passion and you're like trying not to do too much. But you know what, even things you're passionate about, you can get burnout on. Uh, but I do find that interesting. <laughs> Cause I'm also just like, what else are you gonna do with your time? Cause I don't like listening to myself. <laughs> And talking so much and join the club editing so much so I don't want to get burnt out before vlogmas because then it's like okay am I already putting myself in a position to fail well it sounds like you're making up reasons to put yourself in a position to fail <laughs> it sounds like you're already looking for reasons to quit is what it sounds like to me nobody wants that I was also cleaning out my closet a little bit Ooh, I like that. How fun. I bought this off of Amazon. For why? For literally one video that I did. I don't even... One video. I I vaguely recall a crown. I vaguely recall it. Is this why this is called Queen of YouTube? Is that why she called it that? The comedy queen. The comedy queen. It was in my video for like three seconds. I was like... <laughs> Queen of YouTube and shit. Oh, wow. I'm so tired. I am so tired. Take so a nap. Time, let me tell you. I'm just finding something to wear to bed. People keep saying, why do you have a fake Louis? Girl, back in the day, I didn't have no money for some real Louis. Are you kidding? Uh <laughs> and now that I do, it's like, do I really want to spend $3,000 uh, on my purse? I, I feel that. I don't deserve it, so... It's not a matter of whether or not you deserve it or not. It's just like, that, that's not how I would personally want to use my money anyways. You want to rock the fake Louis Vuitton? You get after it, girl. There's no judgment on my end. I really don't care. The The whole concept of a designer bag is kind of silly anyways. Honestly, truly, because like, 
who really cares? I mean, not me, obviously, but, but yeah. <laughs> I actually got this off a of wish. So it's been uh, years that I've had fake Louis. Mo November 16th. Okay, you guys, so I just cooked. Ooh, look at them, look at them big old carrots. Look at that big, wait, actually, I don't think she cooked at all, wait. I need to go see. Let me look at my friend, at my friend Shay's. Oh, uh, yep, yep, okay, this was, I got a little spoiler alert because my friend Shay, who also follows Amber Lynn, used this video for a little bit of marketing purposes, and this is from The Factor. This is from The Factor Meals. Um, those are some big honking carrots. <laughs> Uh, no, no shade to factor. I'm not sponsored, but I don't know that I would want to eat just like a big ass carrot like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Unless maybe that's not a part of the factor meal and she just added that on her own. I don't know. I, I would like, listen, I'm not triggered by carrots anymore. The carrot journey is long behind me. But if I do eat a carrot, I usually like it in a much smaller portion. And roast beef, carrots, and mashed potatoes. And why do they chef. look so wet? So I'm really like she, excited about it. She's trying to she's trying to again be a comedy queen. Who knew comedy queen Lynn like would be out here? Joan Rivers, watch out. Just kidding. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have heard of Factor Meals. I have. They slap because we got some when we were doing keto and they were so good. But now that we're not doing keto, we can get other kinds. So okay. it's fresh, never frozen meals, chef prepared, dietitian approved. For who? Dietitian approved for who? Wouldn't a dietitian, <laughs> wouldn't a dietitian make a plan individually for each? like client that they worked with what does that even mean if it's on if it's on a box you know what i'm saying like how is that helpful no prep no mess you heat and eat and it's america's number one ready to eat meal kit this sounds exactly like freshly if i'm being honest it sounds exactly like freshly which she did try and was working out for her when she did it for the short period of time that she did it so it has the calories, all of the nutrition you need. Okay, stunning. Um, expiration date, you know, all of that. This is the slow roasted brisket pot roast with baby carrots, mashed potatoes, and pearl onions. Nothing about those carrots were baby. Ain't nothing about those carrots were baby. Why were Let's they so big? Let's try, so. We're gonna taste test together. Why are they? Why are those carrots so big? Maybe I am triggered by carrots. Mashed potatoes first. Slaps. I don't know what that was. I love roast beef. Do you? Because I thought you didn't like meat. Pulled pulled pork. Those type of things. Well, that's not so pulled good. pork. That's beef. Now we're gonna try the meat. Mm. Oh, that's so good. So good. Wow, she really is going. She had left behind these eating mannerisms for a while. Like, I feel like I haven't seen her do a... Or a so good or a... You know, that million dollar tongue she's got. So, I'm glad we're back in this era. I sure have missed that. I'm going to try a carrot. I'm, I am actually very triggered by these carrots. Why are they so big? If they describe them as baby carrots, those are so big. I'm going to do a thumbnail. Oh. <laughs> Comedy queen! I'm telling y'all. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. These meals are so worth it. Honestly, I do think something like that for somebody who doesn't know, like, portion control, boundaries, etc., can be helpful. I, I think it would be helpful to me. I'm just saying, like, we've been here. It's just got a different name. She already did the Freshly once. In fact, I tried Freshly because she tried Freshly. I have a whole video about it on my channel. 
We got 10 meals for how much? Like 100? 122. $122 for 10 meals. Like 11 to $12 per meal. Right. Which that feels... is bad because like... Not bad if you compare it to like getting takeout, but maybe bad if you compare it to just like buying ingredients on your own and cooking it for yourself. Felina and I can order takeout and right. it will cost us $70 right. for just one I would, meal. I would believe that. Well, I would believe that. Mm. Those carrots gotta go, though. <laughs> and then when you plate it, it just, I don't know. I wanna I'm, like, not even joking about it. I'm so uncomfortable with the size of those carrots. Take a bite of everything together. Okay. So we have mashed taters, the meat, a pearled onion, carrot. Let's go uh -huh. for it. Let's fucking go! So good. Only 550 calories, too. And no, this is not sponsored. I wish. Okay, you guys, so it is time for my weigh-in. Today is day 14. I weighed in at 506.8. So what I wanted to do every 10 days, I know we're on day 14, but I did just think of doing this. Okay. Is every 10 days because these are literally pretty much my only... You know, we've already talked. <laughs> we've already discussed the the situation of, like, her going through two, what, two, three poster boards, and now we're on some loose-leaf paper. I also now need to bring up how stressed I am that she just has this pile of loose-leaf paper sitting around as though it couldn't get scattered and lost and disorganized, and also as though she doesn't have, like, 12 different journals that she could be keeping this all in, you know? Like, does that resonate for anybody else? Because <laughs> um, it's kind of, it's kind of driving me nuts. Every 10 days, I want to see how many times I do each of these things. So days 1 through 10, I counted my calories no times. I intuitive ate three times. I overeat two times, and I binged five times. So I was only on track 30% of the time in the first 10 days, and I was off track for 70% of the time. Yeah. So I think this is going to be a good indicator for me to look at so I can see it more, like, in my face because, you know, the next 10 days, I would love to have my binging down to three or even less than that. And I don't know. This is also a part of the 100 days that I would like to share with you guys. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys. I have completed. Wow. And we finished. <laughs> Can I get a round of applause in the chat, in the comments? For those who like the art moments. If, if that's you, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> I'm not sure that these art moments are much better than the scratch art, uh, cause you know, I skipped over that video where she just showed a whole bunch of them, but it's very similar to the scratch art thing where she just does the same design over and over and over and over again, or like small variations of the same design. And I love, you know, she was able to talk about how she does find that helpful occasionally to be a distraction for her. I don't know that it's something I need to see. You know, I'm not saying it's boring, but I'm also not saying it's entertaining. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I want to give you an update on my... Oh, there's... So you guys have seen this. We've already seen that. We've, seen this one. we've already seen that too. But these are just for the people who haven't seen them. I've already I seen that. Watch, like every single one of my videos, obviously. I've already seen that. I love this one. And then I don't think I showed you guys this one. So yes. This yes, you fucking did. Part one. It's okay. It's giving me very 90s, like. You're in elementary school or something. Well, it's a good damn thing that I didn't react to that last video because you'd seen all those already then. You you really had. I'm going to guess these next, what, there's maybe three pieces of paper there. These next three are probably new, but I'm just like, half of those we've already seen, girly. Something. <laughs> and then I did 
that one. Oh. Which I love the color scheme. It's giving me poopy paper clips. This one's kind of lame, but. It's giving me fun. walking down a, a neon lit corridor. And then this one. It's giving me psychedelic cow. Kind of obsessed. And then. So the next ones I'm about to show you is kind of like... I don't want the preface. Just show them to me. Just show them to me. I, You know what? Art is made to be judged, and I'm here to judge, and I want to give you my opinion without hearing the story from the artist. Sedimental? When I was like... Sedimental? Really young, when like sed sedimentary what, rock? Or sentimental? With my parents, and traumatic things were happening... Um, my grandma, who I love dearly, but is no longer with us, she would try to protect me from all that and okay. distract me in the best way that she knew how. Sure. So she would take a piece of paper. This was like when I was literally five. She would take a piece of paper and like squiggle all over it uh -huh. and then have me color it. So I was just kind of thinking of her. Oh, that's, that's a, that's a very sweet story. And this is a very different type of design. So I'll take it. I'll allow it. I like it to do it this is um, this is giving me this is giving me art this is giving hang it in the moma so i did this one i squiggled that and then i asked feline i was like will you squiggle so i can cover Ooh. it <laughs> oh feline can we squiggle later <laughs> you wanna you want a little squiggle later feline she squiggled this one um so that's my art update okay, thank you so much to put the globe on my bookshelf okay. is containers because I was going through my uh, hallway closet, which is right here, because I wanted to go through that Christmas stuff. So like I knew which ones were bins and which ones weren't. So. Uh huh. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go get my globe. Okay. Here we go. Wow. Like a setter right here. <laughs> Such content. <laughs> Such content that we had to watch you sit this on a bookshelf. Huh. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't really know how I feel about it, but yeah. It's, I might actually put my books down here. You ain't got shit on this bookshelf. How could you feel any type of way about it? It does look kind of weird because it's like literally one of three things that's on this whole ass bookshelf. <laughs> Because they're currently on the entertainment center in my bedroom, but we're gonna get a new entertainment center, which I'm super excited about. So, this is still my favorite Lego I've ever done. I love Nintendo. that for you. It is pretty cool. Even a controller. It is pretty cool. Yep. I built this, and I love it. She did that. Thanks for watching. Wow. Well, besties, I feel like there wasn't any real plot development. <laughs> I mean, I did have fun. I enjoyed it to some extent, some parts of it, and I am still very much triggered by those damn carrots, but here we are, I guess, you know? I don't know what else to say about it outside of that. Those carrots, though. I'm not gonna be able to stop thinking about how big those carrots were for a while. That's really sitting with me right now. It's heavy on my mind and on my heart. Anyways, that's all I have time for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell button if you haven't already so you can get some notifications whenever I post my next video. Also, make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I had so much fun today. I hope you did too, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!